Well, unfortunately, it has snowed yet again. We were at another three and a half inches last night. It was a beautiful snow, but I'm tired of it, to be honest with you, because <laughs> it just delays us digging. So we have to stay indoors and work on the special project. Special project! <laughs> All right, guys, got to bear with me here. My garage is a mess, and everything's kind of shoved in here for now for the winter. But uh, this is my kayak that I used last year in the water and up and down the streams and um, relic hunting and whatnot. I made this PVC mount to attach my trolling motor to, which worked for the, for the most part. It worked pretty good. I'm not complaining about it. Uh, there are some flaws, I think, in the design that uh, that I made. And I kind of want to go through this year and kind of do something completely different. Instead of putting the motor here, the trolling motor here, I want to attach it on the back, right back there. But in order to do that, uh, I'm going to try something really, really crazy and really cool. And I'm going to show you that right now. All right, so I got a box of goodies here from Amazon the other day. And um, uh, this is just the first part of my kayak modifications that I'm going to do to that thing. Uh, I got a couple of these Yak Attack uh, Roto Grip, um, what you call it, paddle holders. So last year I lost mine, I lost one, it kind of made it a very big inconvenience. These should attach to these tracks right here. There's a track in here. This should, 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 should attach, easy for me to say, in those and that should make a secure fit um let me show you this in a minute i got some new scupper plugs the ones i use for the boat that came with the kayak do not work very good so i got these ones these ones will fit really nicely and snug in these holes right here so they're, they're locked in, they don't, they're suctioned in. So no more water, that's gonna be nice. All right, so there's that. Um, what else is in here? All right, so I had to get some of these. These are shrink wrap for wires. So I'm gonna show you what we do here in a minute with those. But I wanted to get these, they're, they come in various sizes. And if you guys decide you want to do some of this stuff that I'm doing in my kayak, maybe for your boat or, or you know, John boat or whatever, I'll put links to all this stuff through Amazon, my affiliate links, so you have it. I bought a waterproof case. I might, I may or may not use that. It's a little bigger than I wanted it to be for what I want to do here, because I'm going to show you the big purchase that I'm going to, where I'm going with all this, comes down to one thing. And it's in this little box. This box right here. So, kind of already alluded to it with the title of the video, but um, if I can get it open one handed or not. This is what we call a PWM pulse wave converter or modulator. I'm sorry, PWM. So, what's going to really technically happen here? is this little box is going to basically control my trolling motor. Uh, this is like 20 bucks on Amazon. The dog is crashing and everything. But here's what we're gonna do. The trolling motor itself is going to be attached in the back of the boat. That's my plan. Somehow I'm gonna mount it back there. The head of the trolling motor, this thing right here, is gonna come off. I'm taking all of this off. So the only thing I'm going to have is the transcom and the wire. This wire is going to run into this, this box. So right here you have your, um, your power. So your battery goes in here, two battery, 
your positive and your negative go in here, and then your motor wires go here, your positive and negative. So once you put all that together with these things, then I can plug, these are plugs I'm gonna use to make all this work. So essentially what's happening here is on this little, on this PV or PWM, is you have a control knob. Sorry, I'm not very good at this camera, it's my cell phone. Um, you have a, a switch for forward and reverse and a little meter that tells you the percentage up to 100 on what you're using. So that little thing right there is going to make my life so much easier this year because I'm hoping I can get that, that motor mounted on the back of the kayak. And I'm going to have a lift system so I can lift it out of the water and I'm going to be able to steer. That's the other thing I'm going to do. I'm going to try to make this so I can steer with my feet. So up and down, I, can, I should be able to steer the kayak with these foot pedals if I, if I figure out how to get these this back thing off that is the plan my friends there's a few other things coming but this is the main the main thing i'm doing to the kayak this year so this should uh increase my battery time too i have a huge battery that goes on here i really don't like a huge battery i might reduce the battery size down to a bit I'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet but this is going to be pretty cool. I think you're going to enjoy this modification. And um, if you're into kayaks and doing stuff like this, you know, look into getting yourself a PWM. I'll put a link in my description below here in the video. Um, if you guys are, are part of my Patreon, uh, patrons over on my Patreon page, you're going to see this video first. It'll be up for a little while before I put it on YouTube. So thanks for being one of my patrons. All right. Well, that's it for me today. I just want to show you my quick little project that I'm getting ready to start. And I'll show you the finished product when I'm done here and, and how it's going to work, if it works. Hopefully I won't fail majorly on this. All right? So, see you in the next video. Everybody thought I was crazy to put a motor on this thing. But I'm not crazy.